Currently it is only possible to randomize vector and matrix quizzes, that means that the order of rows can be shuffled. This happens only once, when the slide is loaded for the first time, this includes also page reloads. Just by adding the option data randomized to the comment attached to the head of the quiz. Other options might be added in the future. If you reload the page, the order of the options will change, but not when you go to another slide and come back. Next to randomization you can also use the following configuration options and also combine them. Pass an integer to data max trials and the quiz will be automatically solved after x wrong trials. You can either use values such as on, off, true, false, disable, enable to show or hide the solution button. By default it is always on, but it is also possible to pass an integer value to reveal this button at a certain user trial. In this case 0 is not interpreted as false, but that it should be immediately visible and one only after the first wrong trial. This configuration options can be used similarly as the previous one, although there won't be many occasions to disable or enable the hint button when no hints were defined. However, you can use the numerical value to show hints only after a certain amount of wrong trials, thus one will reveal the button only after the first wrong trial. The result of this setting will not be visible at all, Instead it is used to score a quiz, if the course is exported into a SCORM package and uploaded to an LMS. Within an export every quiz is rated equally with a value of 1. It is possible to pass an integer or float value, e.g. 2, 2.0, 2.12345. And as mentioned earlier, you can freely combine all of these configurations.